Welcome to Anbu's Hobbies, your source for tech and programming tutorials. In today's video, we'll explore the exciting world of data streaming by connecting Apache Kafka with a Spring Boot application. This powerful combination can transform how you handle real-time data. Let's get started. Now, let's begin by visiting start.spring.io to initiate a new Spring Boot project. I'm opting for Maven as our dependency management tool, choosing Java as the language. We'll keep the Spring Boot version as 3.1.4. Now, let's customize the project metadata to your preferences. Next, we'll include the Kofco and DevTools dependencies to enhance our project. Once you've selected the necessary dependencies, simply click on the Generate button. Now, extract the downloaded file into a folder of your choice. Now, let's open this project in IntelliJ. We've successfully loaded the project into IntelliJ. Now, we're going to update the application.properties to a YAML format. Let's start the application and ensure everything is working smoothly. Fantastic! The application has started and ended without any issues. Now, let's proceed to update the application.yaml file with the Kofco configuration details. Our Kofco server is already up and running locally on port 9092. We'll now update the application.yaml to configure the consumer and producer properties accordingly. Now, let's create packages for the producer, consumer, and controller components. To begin, we'll create a message producer using the Kofco template. We'll define a method that accepts a topic and a message as input parameters. We'll then auto-wire the Kofco template and call the send method with the specified topic and message. Next, we'll create a consumer or subscriber for the topic. We'll define a method that accepts the message and annotate it with Kafka Listener, specifying the topic and group ID. This method will print the message whenever there's a message pushed to the topic. In our final step, we'll create a REST endpoint to send a message. We'll auto-wire that message producer and use the send message method to send the message to the topic. Before moving on, let's not forget to include the web dependency in our pom.xml file to enable the creation of a REST controller. After adding the dependency, we'll reload the project's dependencies.
Fantastic! With everything set up, it's time to start our application. Let's use Postman to hit the Send Message API with a test message. As you can observe from the console, the message has been successfully received by the subscriber. Congratulations! You've successfully connected Kofco to your Spring Boot application, unlocking real-time data processing capabilities. If you found this guide helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech and programming content.